What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody. So April 8th, 2024 word the Lord has on a good old Monday. So let's do it. The Lord starts off by saying this. For there are many of you who have unnecessary concerns. You do not need to worry about the things I have already done. Give your worries to me. And another thing that the Lord has been putting on me is people worried about spouses or just other people in their life that the Lord has shown them he is putting in their lives. This is what you have to understand. You need to be satisfied with just having the Lord right now. He understands what you've prayed for. But if you start rushing into things and trying to hurry it up and just all this extra stuff you don't need to do, it's not going to work. There's a reason why God has you wait for stuff like that, because he works on both people. He has to get people together so that things work the way they're supposed to. So he has been putting that on me lately to say, if that's you, you need to just be happy with having the Lord. That needs to be your number one. If you don't know how he speaks to you, if you don't know certain things that you should know in a relationship, then a spouse shouldn't be something you need to be worrying about. You need to be worrying about your relationship with the Lord. Okay? What you've prayed for, you need to believe it in order to receive it and just wait patiently. Yes, it takes time for people to get acquainted with how the Lord speaks to them. Yes, it takes time with a lot of things. That's why the Lord teaches us patience. You have to have it. You know? A lot of people are trying to go their own route in life or not according to the Lord's will because it is quote unquote taking too long. Well, you're gonna walk right into a trap if you get impatient because the enemy waits for that. All right, moving forward. So when the eclipse happened, this is what the Lord said today was so different. I felt like something was passing over and I felt covered and peaceful. But he said, the signs of change have passed you for you are covered. And when I was seeing things darkening and happening, I kid you not, two black bees were at the window upstairs, outside that bathroom window. Two black bees popped up twice as if they were trying to get through the window. And I'm like, you're not getting in here witchcraft. We covered. Literally, y'all, two black bees during the eclipse. And the Lord was talking about all this witchcraft being done and covering in the name of Jesus. That was crazy. But they couldn't get in because of the covering. But the Lord continues to say this in terms of the changes of the times and signs and so forth. Anyone who has obeyed and abided in your father shall be covered. Many do not realize the signs of the change that has come. Collectively, you who have covered you have all done well with your intercession. Know that I hear your prayers. Thank you for your obedience, my children. It is time for the change. Not all of it will look pretty to the eye. So he's basically saying it's not going to be a lot of good things happening to people who are not covered. It is time for a greater shakening. My hand has lifted from those who have defied me. There is always room for mercy. Last chance. Do not wait for your time to come to repent. So he's saying, he's so merciful. You know, he's allowing people to come to him today. Don't wait until stuff hits you to start crying. Do it beforehand. It shouldn't have to get that far. You know, 
But unfortunately, it's going to have to be that way for many because they're not listening and paying attention to the signs of the times. They're not taking things serious. But yeah, just a quick, short little message here from the Lord, okay? Make sure you take it all back to the Lord in prayer. Peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one.